this flicker, we follow up our exploration of Jack London's time in the Klondike with a look at his return to California and his time at Beauty Ranch. Now set aside and preserved as Jack London State Historic Park, it is a fine sight which illustrates the story of Jack's and his wife Charmian's life in vivid detail. We'll visit the ruins of the couple's dream home wolf house and also see the scenic knoll where Jack is laid to rest. We're at the gravesite of a good friend of mine from my Klondike days, Jack London. Some of you have heard of him and uh, I'm here to pay my respects and just, I guess you'd say, visit an old friend. We found a real, real nice place here. It's just beautiful. And, uh, let's walk on over to his little wooden, wooden grave site here. This whole, uh, this whole place here is a, a park now. You can see Jack London's grave. And set aside, there's cottages and all kinds of interesting things to see. Been uh, looking around. San Francisco in the area and uh, they uh, got me up here so I could say hello to an old friend that I uh, that I prospected with up there in the Klondike. Jack and I, like uh, some other fellows that were a bit uh, knowledgeable about boats and, and uh, the water, would uh, help pilot some uh, other uh, fellows uh, downriver through the rapids and get them some uh, some safe passage uh, that way. And Jack did that, made a bit of money. I did it a, a few times, uh, just uh, out of the goodness of my heart, I guess you'd say, just to help some fellas that I could see were green as the grass when it came to piloting boats. But, uh, but Jack here, uh, well, Jack, boy, he told some stories around the campfire, let me tell you. He, uh, I, I knew he was a, just a, just a born storyteller was, was Jack. And he, he'd tell us stories about, about wolves. In a moment here, we're going to go to look at his house, which, uh, which he called, um, Wolf House. And he was fascinated with wolves. Uh, and boy, you should have seen Jack around the campfire when there'd be the, the howl of some wolves. Uh, Never, never seen someone so excited uh, to hear that wolf call, and you know he incorporated that into his uh, into his many amazing books. There, deep in the forest, a call was sounding, and as often as he heard this call, mysteriously thrilling and luring, he felt compelled to turn his back upon the fire and the beaten earth around it and to plunge into the forest, and on and on. He knew not where or why, nor did he wonder where or why, the call sounding imperiously deep in the forest. Jack London, The Call of the Wild. Jack left the Klondike on June 8, 1898, traveling with two partners, including John Thorson, the inspiration for the main human character, John Thornton, in The Call of the Wild battling the lingering effects of scurvy and thousands of millions of mosquitoes, as Jack put it. He journeyed down the Yukon River to the Bering Sea and the coast of Alaska, then made his way south working as a coal shoveler on a steamer to San Francisco. He returned home sick and broke, but with a head full of ideas. Within two years and with great perseverance, Jack became the most famous short story writer in America, but still struggled to make ends meet. That struggle ended in 1903 with the publication of The Call of the Wild. Now world famous, in 1905, Jack married the love of his life, Charmian Kittredge, and purchased 130 acre hill ranch in the Valley of the Moon, north of San Francisco. It was his beauty ranch. Jack continued to write and explore the world, honeymooning in Cuba and Jamaica, sailing the Pacific for two years with Charmian on their yacht, the Snark. When he was home in Glen Allen, 
Jack expanded his ranch and practiced innovative farming techniques. It was here in 1913 that Jack built he and Charmian's dream home, the four-story, 15,000 square foot, 26-roomed wolf house. This here's Wolf House, and Jack built this in, uh, finished it in 1913, uh, just before they were about to move in and burned. And Jack, being an optimistic fellow, apparently said he was going to rebuild, but he uh, suffered poor health after that. It took its toll on him watching this here house burn that he worked so hard to build and uh, and they never recovered enough to rebuild it and so it only ever remained ruins like you see here I look around here and I could I could see Jack here my goodness what a lot of work I could see him living here writing his stories and we're all poor because he, uh, he, he passed a kidney failure in 16 in 1916 and we're all poor because of it because i'm sure he had many books many books in his soul and his heart that he would have provided us with much of the wild had been lost so that to them the wild was the unknown the terrible the ever menacing and ever warring but to him in appearance and action and impulse still clung the wild jack london White Fang. Beyond the daunting ruins of Wolf House and Jack's gravesite, Jack London State Historic Park showcases the splendor of Beauty Ranch and the history of the Londons. Jack and Charmian called this cottage home from 1911 until Jack passed here in 1916. They expanded it after losing Wolf House, and it is well preserved today with rooms set up just as they were when Jack and Charmian wrote, ate, and laughed here. Jack was an innovative rancher and a self-taught yet amazingly inventive farmer employing sustainable methods of agriculture. Jack's sister-in-law, Eliza Shepard, was the ranch manager and instrumental in implementing Jack's vision. His passion for farming is exemplified in the ingenious design of his pig palace. Designed and built by Jack in 1915, it garnered awards and nationwide attention. The House of Happy Walls was built in 1919 by Charmian and Eliza. The arts and crafts style house was constructed to honor Jack and it served as Charmian's home from 1935 to 1952. Today it is a wonderful museum with world class exhibits that tell Jack's life story, both his early years and his time with Charmian including their South Seas excursion aboard the Snark. Many artifacts from their two-year expedition are showcased here. The wild still lingered in him, and the wolf in him merely slept. Jack London, White Fang. There's much to discover in the House of Happy Walls Museum and throughout Jack London State Historic Park. There are trails and endless nature. One of the many reasons Jack fell in love with this site in Sonoma County's Valley of the Moon. Jack was, what was it? One of my friends, you, you had to have some folks to depend on and to rely on just to get you through. Jack and I had, uh, Many good time, many a hard time. So rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. I suspect he's writing up in the great beyond for uh, for folks up there now, ain't he?